Hey guys, it's Beth, and welcome back to some more Dead by Daylight. Now, it looks like we're about to jump right into another match against another Oni. And we already fought an Oni last episode, so, um, hmm. Excited to see how this one turns out. Because Oni is a very unique killer, and I enjoy, uh... I enjoy going against things that are not, uh, Ghostface and Doctor kind of gets boring fighting the same people on over and over. But hey. I've slowly gotten over caring about people doing nothing but playing Wraith. Because, uh, honestly, I just haven't seen enough of them lately. And honestly, there's something about the Wraith himself that is just very appealing design-wise. And, you know, like, sometimes design can carry an entire character. And that should be allowed. Also, uh, design can carry a character when they can do this. Gosh. This skin is so much fun. Uh-oh. I have to sneeze. Oh, no. And there's the Oni. Okay. It's fine. Oh, no. I managed to mute my mic mid-chase, that way I could sneeze. That's impressive. Okay, come on. You got this. You got this, man. Okay. This is less good, because I don't have dead hard to counter him being directly next to me. I have life. Right now, life is not going to help very much, or maybe it will. I mean, to be fair, he has tracking. So all he has to do is just pay attention to where I am. Then he can just follow up with a good swing. And I no longer have a power, per se. I am so sorry, Rebecca. This is just where the chase led me. I am so sorry. There is only so much I can do. I can only... I can only traverse so much map. Please. I am doing my damn best. I'm gonna go hide over here and do a gen. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so sorry, Kate. Hopefully I didn't lead everyone to you. Oh, well, there are now going to be blood orbs stacking on top of me, that's good. Okay. Oh my gosh, I really need to level up Fang. I need to get life to tier 3, holy crap. It's just so, like, because that that is a long exhaustion. Like, that's, that seems longer than Dead Hard. Uh, but the, the thing with it for me is just, like, I want to put more into Killer, because I feel like Killer perks have a lot more in it. And he's pretty far, so I can just finish this and it'll be no problem. I think the Rebecca's working on that one. Uh, let me go work on this, um, this shack gen.
this does put me in immediate danger since, like, Shack is a good place to loop killers, but that's just how things are. I can't see where they got downed. Is that knockout? Oh, you know what? That is probably knockout. That makes sense. It makes sense for an Oni to have knockout. Oh, hey. Can you patch me up real quick? Does he have a ruin? Huh. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go run for that. You take over my gen. Thank you. Unfortunately, I don't know where... Oh, don't do that. Do not do that, please. Why, Kate? Kate, you absolute freaking clown. I'm actually tired of people like you doing that. There's literally no reason. Oh my god. You know, we could have two pe we could have two people on one hook right now if you didn't literally just decide to give up when we have a lead. What is wrong with you? Like seriously. Just because someone goes down near you doesn't mean, oh my gosh, the Rebecca's about to bleed out. Oh my gosh, the Rebecca's about to bleed out. I don't mind if this guy camps me, that's fine. They need to heal up anyway. Honestly, though, this guy might have nurses. It would be smart. Finish healing, please. What are you doing? Why is the person who is... Why is the person who is at one... One hit kill, no matter what, why are they the one going for the rescue? Okay. Okay, thank you, Kate. I'll go for... The Rebecca, since I have the Endurance boost. It does kind of suck that I made it to two things on the... I accidentally got to phase two, but that's fine. Unfortunately, I don't know. Okay, that person's probably dead. I don't know where Rebecca went. Yeah, goodbye. Where is Rebecca? Where is this other thing? Good job, Kate. I'm really glad that you decided to just end yourself on hook while people were running towards you. Shit, okay. And now the Rebecca's probably dead too. Yep. Okay. I hate to say that the Kate did this to us, but you know, we would we would have been in a lot better of a scenario if it was, you know. If they didn't try killing themselves, um, you know, we'd still have three people right now. Alright, so two fangs left. They might have barbecue, so they might see where we're working right now, so. They sure do! Oh, unfortunate time. Okay. 
No, you you can't hide against this. You need to run. Dang, I couldn't even test if I had Soul Guard. And this is a killer where you could theoretically like do that. Oh well. We were doing pretty good until the Kate decided to just throw it away. I... I don't get it. Uh, like, I at that point, I don't get it. We had zero hooks, and there were two gems left. All of these hooks happened literally in that last two gems. I understand going for it when it's like a completely like unsalvageable circumstance. That was not unsalvageable. Like that was literally a case where we easily could have won that. <sighs> All right. Um. Hmm. I might want to try something other than Soul Guard. Soul Guard is very specific and particular. <sighs> but I don't know. Like, Soul Guard requires a... Uh... What's it called? It requires you to be hexed, which is not unlikely. And we're facing a trapper. Interesting. Trapper is interesting because, in theory, they are the worst killer in the game. In practice, if you're a good killer, regardless, you have a decent chance of winning, but... Who knows? If we go to Eerie of Crows, it's kind of a win because their power no longer exists. If we go to, like, the Red Forest, we have a much harder pro uh, much harder time dealing with the problem of, uh, the problem of traps. The bear traps. But we'll see. We will see. I like that that isn't the injured icon anymore, but they still use it in the loading screens. I think someone DC'd. Oh, never mind. RPD. Well... I don't think Trapper has a particularly good time on this map, but I don't have a good time on this map, so it doesn't really matter. I got body blocked by my own damn teammate. Literally, I got body blocked by my own teammate. I was trying to drop the pallet and David said, uh, no, why would you want to do that? Okay. At least the totem that was cleansed wasn't haunted ground or something. Hopefully with the rank reset, uh, my MMR has been fixed a bit, because my MMR was, was and is still a bit odd at the moment, because, you know, if you merge a Steam account and an Epic account, one with a whole bunch of progress and one with no progress, it fucks up things. Let me tell ya. But hey, that's just what happens. 
Okay. The trapper is up. Second floor. They might be dropping down. Chasing the Leon, hopefully. Oh, well. Oh, yep. They're going in the other direction. That's good. As long as they don't lead him to me. I was like... <laughs> for a moment, when I didn't see what survivor that was, other than it was just a survivor, I was like, oh my gosh, if that's the Leon being chased. <laughs> Please help. If you're fully healthy, you really shouldn't get into a locker. But it, it does make sense if you are injured to get into a locker because it takes more time. Okay. Did, did he break the same pellet? Or I guess he stopped doing it. He didn't see. He didn't see me. He didn't see me. He saw me. And Lyth could not help me there. Oh, you piece of shit. What a cool person. You can go get the Leon. He can't grab you while... Okay. No, why? 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 This dude's about to slug, which is fine. Please do not pick me up. Okay. Unfortunately, no soul guard. That's great. Alright, David, now is the time to be a hero. Or don't. Or just let everyone else die. No one else has Unbreakable, so... We're fucked. Because this David decided to lock himself in a corner. Instead of spending the two seconds to pick one, us up, one of us up. And he's dead. Good. Alright. Great. Well, let's hope- no, he does not have Unbreakable and he's just crawling. Good job, David. Yeah, you know, I don't blame you. David. I don't get what you're doing. Why are you not- Okay. And you slap me because, you know, I I was the problem here, not 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 the David who was doing that to you. Yeah, come up here and slap me again, motherfucker. Do it. Do it. David, what the fuck are you doing? Go to the hatch spawn. That is quite possibly the dumbest survivor I've seen in my entire life. Genuine. That is quite possibly the dumbest survivor I've ever seen in my entire life. I understand I made a mistake there. I stepped on the trap when I was going to go get a rescue. That happens when you're not paying attention. That David just made every wrong decision there instead of, you know, going down and, per and potentially... I, if you pick someone else up, they can pick someone else up because of endurance. I don't know what the fuck his brain was on. That's ridiculous. Alright. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.